Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm joined by Paul Duke. Paul, what are we going to be looking at today? Today, Tony, we're going to be looking at our range of access covers and frames and gully gratings. And we're going to be discussing their purpose and a few technical aspects. So where are we going to start, Paul? Lots of different numbers and letters on this one. Well, Tony, this is a heavy-duty uh, access cover and frame manufactured from ductile iron. Uh, this one has, has a kite mark on there and is manufactured by Peter Savage Limited. Uh, it's the European standard EM124 and it's a D400 loading. So as you explained Paul, lots of different markings, but what specifically do they mean? This marking here is the BSI kite mark. Importantly, this is the third party accreditation uh, that it conforms to BSEN124, the European standard. So what application will we use this cover for Paul? So only this cover is a D400 loading cover and frame. That means it can withstand 40 ton test loading, gross laden vehicle weight. You would use this in a uh, minor road or housing and residential areas. Okay, you mentioned heavy loads. Would you be able to use it on a motorway, for example? This particular cover and frame, no you wouldn't. For fast moving areas like motorways and where there's high dynamic loadings, we would recommend the Peter Savage Ultra Range, which is a higher specification of cover and frame. Lots of different covers around. Paul, how would I know which size to choose? Tony, it would depend on the opening of the chamber or the access on a draw pit. Let's look at the size of the cover then, Paul. I'll do the measuring if that's okay. Okay, Tony. As you can see, you've measured 500 mil. This is the common mistake that most people make. You don't measure the cover itself. Let me show you. All manhole covers are measured by the internal opening size of the frame. As you can see, it now measures 450 by 450. And that is the opening of your access. So this is a cover and a frame together. Can I buy them separately or do you have to buy them both together? No, Tony. The cover and frame are manufactured together and are tested accordingly. Occasionally, we are asked to supply the cover only to replace a broken lid. The cover and frame, as I said earlier, is manufactured as a pair, and if you replace just the lid only, it could lead to failure. You mentioned the broken cover. What would be the reason for the cover failing? Uh, in most circumstances, it's the customer using the wrong um, bedding mortar or the wrong cover in the wrong application. Usually, it's a failure on the material underneath the cover, not the cover itself. So the bedding mortar is clearly important? Yes, Tony, the bedding mortar is important. Most failures happen below the frame. It's important you get the right bedding mortar for the right application. And as you can see here, we've got a, a complete range of access covers, gully gratings, um, different sizes, and they all have different loadings, different thickness for different purposes. Um, we've got gully gratings here that are designed for pedestrian use. Um, we have gully gratings here that are uh, hinged to go against the kerb. Uh, we have larger diameter, uh, larger opening covers and frames. Um, this is our 600-600. And over here you see a 675-675, which is the standard opening for all new manholes. Mm -hmm. 